Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial where I will show you how to create this simple building that we can use as a test level. So, for example, I will show you how to cut a hole for the door so we can actually go inside the building and so on. On the next episodes, we will create some stuff inside here, but in this episode, we will only create this level. So yeah, let's get started. So first, let's actually add some light here. So let's set the directional light to like 3, maybe 2.5, something like that. Okay, and now what we want to do, you should have the starter content here. And on the architecture, we have this wall uh, 400 by 300. Okay, now we actually want to set uh, snapping to grid to 100 and also rotation to 90. Okay, and now we want to set these to maybe, uh, yeah, they can be at around 1300 on the X, 700 on the Y, and so on. Now let's rotate this, this, and let's also set the scaling, snapping on and to the one, and let's select our wall and press R to scale it. And let's make it four times the size of the normal size, basically. Okay, now that we have this one wall here, which is four on the X. Now let's control C, control V to duplicate it. And let's press W so we can actually move it. Let's move it around eight blocks this way. Okay, now let's do the same thing here again. Let's duplicate it. Let's rotate it to here and let's set the X scale to 2. So it will be like this. Now let's duplicate it once more and let's move one here to the middle. So 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, and other one to here. So now we have this, uh, these two rooms basically. So now we have to cut the holes to the doors. So let's go here to the first wall. And what we want to do now, we want to select our door. Okay, now let's uh, disable this snapping to grid movement. Now let's move this so it comes a little bit off the wall, like this. I think that's pretty nice. Yeah, okay. Now what we want to do, we actually want to go to the modeling mode. And if you don't have this, you have to enable this one plugin. I will actually quickly show you that. Modeling tools editor mode. This one, and then you have to restart your editor. Okay. But yeah, let's go to the modeling. Now here on the modeling, let's add a shape cube. Okay, now let's click on our door. And here on the location, let's copy this. And let's go to the cube. And let's paste the location here. So now, now you can see the cube is at the same point where the doors pivot is. Okay, now what we can do with this, we want to press R when this is selected. And we want to actually we want to disable the snapping on the scaling. Now we want to make this, this so it comes around to the middle of the frame, basically. I think that's pretty nice. Now the same thing up here. So I think something like that, that is actually pretty good. Okay, now we want to actually Let's duplicate this cube, 
and let's move it here inside. Let's leave it there because we will need it soon. Now with this first one, let's select the wall. So we only have this uh, front wall selected. And then let's keep the control pressed and let's select the cube here. Now on the modeling, we should have this mesh pool thing here. Let's click on that. Now you can see it deletes that cube and it basically creates a, a hole into the wall. Okay, and let's click accept. Now when we select our door and we move it away, you can see we have exactly the size of uh, we have a hole exactly the size of the door. So yeah, control set to put it back to there. And now, now here, we also want to add a door to here. So now with this cube, what we first want to do, we want to rotate it 90 degrees. So it's the right size. Yeah, and now let's move it to the wall. And let's move it where we want to put the door. And I think I want it to be around here. Yes. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy the location of the cube. And then you want to go to the blueprint, interactable and door, get a door to the level and rotate it correctly and paste the location. Okay, now let's select the wall the cube, mesh pool, except let's click on the door, let's move it where we want it to be. So a little bit over the wall. So like this, I think. Okay, now let's save, let's play and let's see if everything works. So, door, let's open it, we can pass through. Also here, we can pass through. Yeah, pretty nice. Now, oh, my editor glitched, so I have to restart it again. Okay, so what we want to do now, we want to set this door to not interactable. Okay. Then let's actually add the roof to it. So uh, let's go to the starter content and to the architecture. And we should have this floor 400 by 400. First, let's make the snapping enabled and let's make sure that it's 100. Now let's get the floor to here. Let's move it upwards until it's here. Now the scaling, let's also enable that and let's scale it to four on this uh, direction and two on here. So two on X and four on Y. Okay, and now when we play, we have everything working here. So yeah. On the next episode, we will create a light switch and lights here. So when we click on the light switch, it will turn on the lights. And later we will add some things so this door will be locked and we will have to find a key or something for it so we can open it. But yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.